Pop and top soda shop. Ooh, we all said that together. <laughs> Drive. I can't see. You <laughs> can't see. Anna Claire said that they will learn heart look like Wyatt Earp. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta have a good teacher. You're, you're walking as if you're suffering from hemorrhoids. Hello, oh <laughs> vlogger. I'm videoing you, videoing me. Stop it. <laughs> you see me jump off that rock like a cat. Dad jokes already. Too early in the morning for all that mess. This is the main reason I wanted to come to this uh, Hall of Fame. Good morning. It is a cool morning here at Cheehaw State Park and I've been saying it wrong apparently. It's not Cheeha State Park, it's Cheeha State Park. <clears throat> I'll probably say it wrong about a half a million times before we get done with this trip. But we arrived yesterday evening and of course we set up and then we had to do the whole Walmart run and all that so we didn't get any footage. But today is uh, our first full day here. We're gonna explore and see what all Cheeha has to offer. We're going down the Bigfoot Trail. See how many Bigfoots? Is it Bigfoots or Big Feet? We thought we were on the Bigfoot Trail. We were not on the Bigfoot Trail. Where, where's the Bigfoot Trail? Where is the Bigfoot Trail? Okay. Maybe it's not a trail at all. Yeah, we left no trace. We'll find the Bigfoot trail. <laughs> yeah, so, so Tell what the you're story doing. or just show it <laughs> Yeah, the whole doing. story. A man's calling down the trail and I'm acting <laughs> stupid reading this poem because I'm trying to be Shakespeare. Look up at the dappled trees. I'm just like, sorry. <laughs> It out too. So, so this is what you were reading? Find yeah. a spot near the trail to sit. Run your hands through the soil around you. Notice the variation in texture. How does it feel in your palms? Is it warm by the sun? Wet from the recent rain? Cool from the mountain air? <laughs> Alright, we found the first Bigfoot. So, we left the ladies at the bottom of the hill at the gift shop while we came back to the truck up the hill. Emphasis on up. Do not underestimate these hills. <laughs> oh God, I'm so out of breath and apparently out of shape. So we're gonna rest for a minute and then go down the hill and get down. What are you doing? I'm practicing. Are you gonna get married here? Yes. That'll be a future vlog. Look at it. Okay, come 
Would you, you look at it? Just look at it. Look at it. Just... Well, they actually do weddings here. Yes. So. Um, that would be perfect. It's normally a restaurant back here. But it's closed. I think they closed during COVID and I don't know that they reopened, but yeah. It'd be a beautiful place for a wedding. Years down the road, not not anytime soon. Eight years. No, not eight years. Single year. Ten years down the road, maybe. Single year. But yeah, this is a beautiful place. Check this out. Alright, so we did Bigfoot Trail. We did half the Bigfoot Trail and thought we were on the wrong trail, went back up to find that we were actually on the Bigfoot Trail to begin with. Fail we went down. back down the, the Bigfoot Trail and then uh, Drew and I went back up the hill to get in the truck. And it, yeah, that was a hill. Let's do a little campsite review. We are in S7 and the first thing you'll notice about this campsite, it is not exactly level. You've got quite a hill in the back, also quite a hill in the front. So I don't think it's really set up for a rig any longer than ours. We're at 35 feet and that's probably the max length you want to get in this site here. It's not all that hard to pull into, it's just the truck is at such an angle. Um, trying to get unhooked and then when we hook back up maybe an issue but it's a nice site it's just not level uh, on the front and the back side to side it was perfectly level didn't have to use any leveling blocks or anything like that so that part was good this is a full hookup site with 30 amp 50 amp water and sewer the front of this site is my favorite with all the boulders plenty of places to sit if you don't want to put chairs out you can just sit on a huge rock uh, we've got a fire pit with a grill built in there and a picnic table plenty of shade and plenty of places to put your hammocks up Anna Claire's already taking advantage of that so this is the front of our site all right, what kind of sandwiches we got I here? You want with mayonnaise on no, 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 no. A no. double stack bologna sandwich. I want a double stack? I do not eat bologna. Two pieces of bologna. bologna. Mayonnaise on each Look side. Look at that masterpiece. You do eat bologna. And then I don't eat mayonnaise. I eat bologna. You, want you said I do not eat bologna. Did I say that? Yes. yes. Chips we got. I'm not even gonna edit that out. I do not eat bologna. I do not eat bologna. I eat bologna. I don't eat mayonnaise. I'm gonna die. I love mayonnaise. Sponsor us, Monster. Please, Monster. We are not sponsored by Monster. But we drink one every day. Literally. <laughs> Come on, please sponsor us. That's the best please. one, though. It, is. it tastes so like good. a peach ring. I don't drink Monsters. We have plans of doing some shallow fry chicken breast to make chicken sandwiches out of. And we forgot to bring flour up for tonight. It's gonna be smash burgers and some tater tots. So that'll be just as good. Class, pay close attention. I will now demonstrate the physics of. Hmm. Now demonstrate the physics of. <laughs> 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 I will now demonstrate the physics of butt hair. <laughs> who, who made this game? <laughs> I will now demonstrate the physics of cat pee. <laughs> We have a cat in here. I will now demonstrate the physics of building a ladder of hot dogs to the moon. <laughs> okay, I, I mean, I'm just, <laughs> I gotta go with freeing a fart yeah! from his breakfast. Yeah! That was it. <laughs> Cat's on the table. <laughs> Doesn't get much 
more normal than that. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Day two at the campground, and we just finished breakfast, and we're gonna get out and start the day, and may do a couple more hikes. Who knows? Uh, gotta get some homework done. Not me, but Madison's gotta do some homework, so we have to go find Wi-Fi. One drawback of this campground is you have no cell phone service here at the actual campground, so you gotta drive down the mountain. College and, uh, student life. Yeah, college student life. <clears throat> we really like this backwoods grind coffee, and uh, we like the camp house coffee, and they have several different um, roasts, and you can get it in whole bean, you can get it in, in ground, but uh, we're not sponsored by these guys. We wouldn't mind being sponsored by these guys, but this is some really good coffee. So I'll leave a link in the description so you can order some and you'll thank me later. Follow Red Blaze. Follow Red Blaze, Pulpit Rock. I guess, well, since it's Sunday, it's only fitting that we go to Pulpit Rock. Get it, church, pulpit. <laughs> <laughs> Dad jokes already. Too early in the morning for all that mess. <laughs> Careful. <laughs> Come on, you need some help. I'm fixing to take my sunglasses off so I can see clearer. Hold on. I can see clearly now. Hold on. I have to put my sunglasses away so I can see clearly. Go ahead, you go ahead. <laughs> I was reaching for your hand. You see what she did? You see what she did? Oh. Stop it. <laughs> Ooh. As you can tell, we're not avid hikers. <laughs> And we're only in our 40s, but we hike like we're in our 80s. No offense to the 80 year olds, you probably do it better. <laughs> yeah, we need some climbing sticks or hiking sticks. pulpit rock it's worth doing how uh, how long is it point point three miles so it's not far at all there's a little bit of elevation uh some loose rocks but it's not terrible uh if we can do it anybody can do it but yeah this is a beautiful spot you better put her in granny low <laughs> who you calling grandpa I got mine in Granny Low. <laughs> You're getting close. <laughs> Look, there's a sign. I know. Uh-uh. You saw the sign. What is that? Ace of base? You're telling your A's now. Was that Ace of Base or Spice Girls? Madison and Anna Claire took the wrong trail, so we're trying to find them. So Drew and I went back down the mountain to find them, only to find that they went around a different way, and they were already at the top, so we're climbing back up again. Check out Bald Rock. 
Y'all ready? Yup. Let's go. We haven't even made it to uh, Bald Rock yet. This is already our favorite hike. One, because it's got a boardwalk and it's easy to walk on, but this is just beautiful. Like the leaves changing colors and then the, the boardwalk against this setting. Uh, can't, can't wait to get to Bald Rock and see how pretty it is there, but this is gorgeous. Check out this view. more of a little bit of a fall. That's a big fall. Just a little bit of a fall. You can see why Bald Rock is the star of the show. It's a beautiful place to look out. The views are beautiful. Leaves changing color. It's real popular so we're gonna get out of the way and let other people get up there to see but yeah this place is definitely worth visiting again and we will we'll be back taking the trail back or you want to go to the boardwalk trail, trail, trail. i'm asking mom she said trail okay you see me jump off that rock like a cat oh, no. did you see me trip five seconds later mm -hmm. <laughs> yes okay if i fall i'm gonna fall graciously at least kristen's laughing at me because i'm also videoing with my cell phone just trying to get some b-roll she's laughing at the way i walk because you try to stabilize it as much as you can but you're, you're walking as if you're suffering from hemorrhoids. <laughs> well, I mean, it's the truth. It, it does, it's like a duck walk. And uh, it is funny, but uh, you do what you gotta do to get the shot, right? Do that again. <laughs> you better stick with basketball, son. I don't think your dancing is uh, in your future. <laughs> <laughs> you have a good teacher this morning we're doing something a little different we've taken a little road trip away from the campground and we are at uh, talladega super speedway at the international motorsports hall of fame and i've been wanting to come here for years i've been to the races i've driven by this place a hundred times but i've never been inside the hall of fame and i know my favorite race car drivers old cars are in there and can't wait to see them I'm gonna bring you along see what you think looking car to ever hit the track.
record in one second. 400 miles per hour in three seconds. <laughs> Driver experiences five Gs of force during acceleration. This is the one I want to drive. You remember how I was telling you that I want an Indian motorcycle? Mm hmm. There it is. Yeah. There it is. Yes. I don't know if I can get this one, but I can get one like it. That's a 1940 model. Anna Claire said that they will learn heart look like Wyatt Earp. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's true. Yeah. <laughs> you think so? Love him or hate him, though, that dude knew how to race a car, especially at Talladega and Daytona. He understood the draft just as good as anybody. Probably better than anybody. The lady in the front said that this plane out here is uh, Bobby Allison's plane and they're restoring it and painting it and making it look nice because they're gonna present him with that this weekend at a car show. Dale Earnhardt's first tour bus. I, I really enjoyed it. You enjoy it? Yeah. It's uh, 12 bucks a person for uh, adults, so like 50 bucks for us, because I think think the young one there got a discount, but it, it's worth the money. Uh, they got three big rooms of, of cars and memorabilia and all kind of stuff, so uh, if you're a race fan, it's definitely worth the money to come by and check that out. We didn't do the track tour, not sure what that cost. We're just kind of pressed on time today. So we're gonna head into the town of Talladega, look for a bite to eat. And there's a Davy Allison uh, Memorial Park that I wanna go by and check out since he was my favorite driver. Since we were in the area, we stopped by uh, Davy Allison Memorial Park inside uh, the city of Talladega. And it's a nice park. We're gonna take a stroll around the track and then go find some lunch. Another cool part about this park here is the walking track around the park is actually shaped like Talladega Motor Speedway. This park is Davy Allison Memorial, uh, but behind me is the memorial of the Texaco Havoline logo, which was his sponsor while he raced. Somebody's gotta figure out something to eat. Who's picking? Oh, I don't know what Not that me. is. Not me. Let's hmm. walk in or whatever that is on the corner. <laughs> that might be dangerous. No. Better Google something. Okay, so we've settled on a place to eat. What's it called? Papa Top Soda Shop. Ooh, we all said that together. <laughs> we like trying new places when we're in new places, so try something local. Okay, what do I want here? I want to know what that junkyard dog is. Look, look at this boy eat. <laughs> Off the top soda shop. It's pretty good. Uh, we had chili dogs, Yankee dogs. What else? Uh, pizza dog. Pizza dog. 
grilled cheese, all kind of stuff. It was good. It was actually really cheap. Yeah. We all ate for like under $40. And you don't really do that anymore. So, And then they uh, took 13 hours to eat ice cream. Well, I sat there and waited on them. So. But all in all, good. Headed back to the campground. Catch you in one mile, prepare to park your car near State Route 281. <laughs> you will need to walk to your destination from there. Like there was a little spillway at the top of that wall and then it comes up under that bridge but it's been so dry i bet that's what that was some kind of some kind of pond thank you so yeah this is our campsite i really like it because like there's a lot of space and everything and you won't be like so close to your neighbors i mean like that's the other right there, that's the other side.